Hey, what's going on guys? I'm Steve. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another video. It's your first time stopping by the channel. Hit that subscribe button. Trust me, you won't regret it. Your returning subscribers always, guys. Welcome back, and I do appreciate the support. Guys, I'm going to talk about something that's been going around uh, on the news. It broke news a couple days ago, and uh, it's about a fellow YouTuber named Trevor Jacob. Trevor Jacob just pled guilty to uh, multiple counts of uh, lying to the feds, and he pled guilty basically to the uh, federal obstruction, in case anybody don't know what that is. What it was in a video he shot in 2021, right? Mr. Jacob intentionally crashed his own plane flying over the, was it, Los Padres National Park in California? Crashed his plane into the mountains, jumped out the plane like he was, it was a harrowing story of survival. And uh, a federal investigation was launched. And he did a bunch of lying. He lied about the cause of the crash. And he lied about the location of the wreckage. Now, me personally, you know, it's already been established that he told he came out and said he did all this for views. Now, as a content creator myself. Views are everything. But they're not the only thing. You understand what I'm saying? I might have said that wrong. But anyway. You're going to get views on YouTube. You don't have to do a bunch of outlandish stuff. Like, I mean, we cover this in other uh, videos. YouTube is doing crazy stuff, prank videos, just outlandish stuff to get all in the sake of getting views. It ain't that serious. You develop a fan following. People like your stuff. They'll subscribe. You'll have uh, viewers that like you as a person. They'll subscribe. It's not that serious. What's serious is that you love what you're doing. I'm not going to put my life in danger doing stuff to get views. That's just me. But I mean, I'm not him. I'm not in his niche of excitement and stuff that he does. But I'm going to play this uh, video clip. And I'm, it's going to show everything that he did. And it's going to show how fake, he, fake this was and how crazy he looks. So without further ado, Let's run this video clip and then come back and talk about it. Holy I'm over the mountains and I get out of the engine out. A YouTuber pleads guilty to federal obstruction charges after staging a plane crash and posting the video online in an attempt to promote his channel. Trevor Jacobs shot the video in 2021. It shows him parachuting to safety over the mountains of the Los Padres National Forest near Santa Barbara. He then lied to FAA investigators about the cause of the crash and the location of the wreckage. Chris Wolf live with more on the stunt that could land that 29 year old in federal prison. Chris. That's right, Micah and Cher. Seems that people are constantly pushing the limits to grab eyeballs on social media, but crashing an airplane on purpose? Well, the young man behind this stunt may not be smiling now. He is facing several years in prison. Talk about dramatic, a plane crash caught on camera. Actually, multiple cameras inside the aircraft and outside the aircraft and in the pilot's hand. 29-year-old Trevor Jacob documented his terrifying near-death experience in 2021 when the engine failed and his small plane crashed into a Santa Barbara County hillside. The video titled, I Crashed My Airplane, posted on YouTube, went viral. Viewers watched the plane slam into brush in the Los Padres National Forest, and a parachuting Jacob eventually land and hike to safety. I guess I should probably document what's going on. I cut my finger pretty bad, got my elbow. I'm just so happy to be alive. But in true Hollywood fashion, it was all scripted, an elaborate stunt. Taking in what just happened. Well, where the hell am I gonna land a freaking plane? I'm gonna die. 
That's why I always freaking fly with a parachute. No phone service. This week, long after surviving in the wilderness, Jacob pleaded guilty to a felony charge of obstructing a federal investigation after admitting to intentionally crashing the Taylorcraft BL-65 to get views on his YouTube channel. A plea agreement reveals he had sponsorship from a company that sold various products, which he would promote. The scheming social media personality lied to federal investigators trying to locate the wreckage and recruited a friend to help him get rid of the mangled metal in the mountains, according to the Justice Department. Oh my gosh, dude. I have no idea where I am. <laughs> oh my God. Guys, listen. They say, I don't mean to laugh. Well, shit, I do mean to laugh. Sky looks stupid. Facing up to 20 years in federal prison because it's a federal charge, right? My thing is this. This is why I'm laughing. You jumped out the plane with a selfie stick in your hand. <laughs> then you hooked your phone up to it while you was in the air. And then you're going to do like Tom Cruise in Mission Impossible looking back at the plane. Ah. <sighs> I survived, uh, but there's still a journey to my survival. Uh, he looked back like four times. Who keeps looking back at the plane going down? You would be looking down at the ground, right? It's so many things that point fake and point him getting in trouble. And he should have known better with, uh, what is it, FAA regulations? Listen, you intentionally crashed your plane. Now, is your plane? I understand that. You can do whatever you want. My thing is this. Even though you was in the mountains and he was supposed to be in, a, was it Los Padres National Park? First of all, it's a national park. It's a natural reserve where you desi decided to do this crap. That right there is a federal offense because you're decimating a uh, federal place, federal landmark. Second of all, yes, your plane but you could have endangered the lives of anybody down here. A lot of people say, because he thought nobody was going to be there. You were there, so it could have been somebody else. My other thing is this. You jumped out with a thick-ass jacket on, right? How your white t-shirt get all dirty? Why was you acting like you were trying to survive? Did you see him drinking the water, gulping? Go, go. Oh, he wasn't even sweating, y'all. Come on. Now he's Brett. He's what's the guy's name? Bear Grylls. Now he's surviving in the wild. A heroin tale of survival. Man, get the fuck. Yo, listen. Listen. A lot of YouTubers, you know, content creators, they do crazy stuff for views. And it's like at his age, this happened, what, two years ago? He's 29 now, 27. You still got sense. You know what it takes to make a good video. Your videos get views. I don't know who put that idea in your head to tear your own plane up because you know he had insurance, guys. But this is the thing that's messed up, and this is why he got in trouble. Never told what the cause of the crash was, right? And the, he lied about the location of the wreckage. Him and a friend went and picked that plane up. Now, it was a small plane, right? When it crashed, it was just a mangled mess. I don't think it had a lot of fuel in it, neither, because that uh, jet fuel is very, very uh, flammable, and that, that thing would have burnt burst up in flames especially in that brush like that the engine hot the fuel leaks get a bit of fire i think he rode the plane till it ran out of gas right then he jumped out that's just my opinion but one of the things that, another thing that's messed up about this whole situation is this you did this for views Right now, it's going to cost you up to 20 years in jail. Now, he will not get 20 years. I don't know if he has a, a background, you know, criminal background. For him to get 20 years doing this, he would have had to did something like this before. And, you know, the same crime, repetitive crime or something. I mean, I was in the feds. I know they go by a chart system. If anything, he might just get probation. And I don't want to I don't want to crowd nobody. Cause, you know, a lot of people are like, oh, he needs to go to jail. Let's be realistic. I don't know what's going to happen with that. 
I don't even touch it. I just want to stay on the stupidness. He went and got that plane. You know why he went and got that plane? When the uh, FAA come out there and do causes of a uh, water plane crash, that's a small plane. He had cameras all over that plane in the cockpit, everything. He had to go get them cameras. He had to go get them cameras. And that's the thing that's funny. When he went and drank that water, I guarantee you his friends came and picked the truck up. And then he saw a babbling brook somewhere. He was like, hold on, I'm going to get a shot of me drinking the water. But, <laughs> that whole thing probably was like four hours. He probably went back out there and act like he was drinking some water. Can't put nothing past people. I mean, doing original content in itself, you know what I'm saying? It's admirable. But when you do stuff like that, that's really corny and stupid. I mean, he could have hurt somebody, let alone hurt himself. You know what I mean? He jumped out the plane. My thing is this. You see how small that plane was? He move. He moving the uh, steering wheel back and forth trying to keep the plane up. Then he's going to say, I got an engine out. You only had one engine. Instead of saying my engine was out, I got an engine out like it was two or, two or more. Didn't look scared to me. How come it ain't show no, uh, when he was in the, in the thing, in the car, I mean, in the plane, how come it didn't show his reaction when the plane first went down? I mean, when the engine first stopped, all the problems and showing him trying to do whatever he could do. To do. Another thing, if you go and look at the video, right? You got to this, go to this channel, Trevor Jacob. You know what I'm saying? I ain't going to leave it in the description box. I ain't going to promote this dumb shit. If you go to a thing, the plane crash happened in the first, I think it's like a 15, 18 minute video. The first like 50 seconds, all of a sudden he in a plane, uh, 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 but it only shows him from the outside. It don't show him in the inside when it was showing his face like it was before. How corny can you be? Guys, listen, tell me what you think about this uh, situation with Trevor Jacob. I think it's corny in classes. And he could have got views. I mean, he get views on all this stuff. He he could have did better than that. My thing is, you could endanger you endanger not only endanger your life, you endanger the life of people at the at the ground, animals, whatever. You know what I'm saying? You could have caused a major uh catastrophe, fire, and you lied about the stuff all in the quest for views. Now, I organically grow my channel. You know what I mean? I put the best of me on film. I mean, on film, best of me. On my videos, and I try to be honest with people. Doing stuff like this, you lose serious credibility, man. Come on. Come on. And then, like, you know, his video is going viral now, but it was two years old. And, like, now it's really going to spike. It made me need the money for lawyer fees. <laughs> Who knows? But um, this is just a classist thing. He should, he should know better. We'll see. Guys, as always, like, comment, share, and subscribe. See you guys in the next video. Take care.